I've created a bit of a problem for myself. I used to have my drill bits in the boxes like this that they came from. I had a bunch of these. But what I recently did was pull them all out and put them in these 3D printed trays that I designed. I've got a video on that, by the way. But the problem is that when I take a bit out of here, it's hard to remember where it goes. So let's say I grab one of these 7 of an inch bit because I'm drilling pilot holes for some number eight wood screws. At the end of the day, it's hard to know exactly where to put this back. It was easier when they were in these things because I could just see which slots were empty. So I think I have a really simple solution for this. Step one is to cut some short metal rods. I wanted stainless steel so they wouldn't rust, but I had to settle for zinc plated since that's what Home Depot had. It's one eighth inch diameter rod and I cut them short enough that they'll fit in the smallest slot in my drill bit trays, which is like two inches long. The next step is to paint each rod a different color, and I just dip them in some enamel model paint. and they were dripping really badly, so I figured out how to hang them upside down using some magnets and some bits of scrap metal. And finally, I painted a spot of color on each of the drills, and these colors correspond to the colors that the rods are painted. I have four drills that I use regularly, including the drill press, so that's why I made four rods. So here's how the system works. I keep one of the rods chucked into each drill. Yellow rod with yellow drill, green rod with green drill, etc. And then when I want to drill some holes, I take the rod out of the drill and I put it in the slot where I got the drill bit from. And then when I'm done with the drill bit, which maybe it's a few days later and I've totally forgotten where it goes, I can just look at the color painted on the drill that that bit is in and then find the corresponding rod in the trays and then just swap it back. Put the drill bit back where that rod is and then put the rod back on the drill. And it's as easy as that. I just have to have the discipline to stick with it. But it's such a simple system that I think that won't be a problem. Thanks for watching.